Welcome everyone, this is Alex for the Custer Spot, and today we're at the Ohio State Fair in Columbus, Ohio. We're going to go inside and show you everything you can do. Admission is $10. You can buy online with Ticketmaster. No fees, same price. So uh, skip that huge line and get right into the fair. Right, we have a cow and a pig and this statue of a uh, cardinal. Look at that. There is so much to show and see and do. We're going to start with the rides. Then we're going to check out some of the food, and then we will, uh, of course, uh, check out some of the exhibits as well. Uh, never been to Ohio State Fair. Uh, I'm actually on a road trip right now where I'm going to be visiting um, at least four state fairs, maybe five. Very rare chance of six. So uh, we're heading towards uh, Iowa, so Wisconsin and Indiana probably possibly today actually so uh we'll see we'll see but check out all those videos if you're interested in uh jumping some states and checking out some more stuff oh corn dogs yum let's look at the entire map of course you can get this line online and they do have paper copies that you can pick up it is lots and lots to do oh my goodness we have so much to look at it First ride you have is a sky glider, or a sky ride that takes you all the way to the back of the fair towards Kitty Land. Fun, relaxing trip, of course, across the, uh, the midway. And uh, the major rides are off to the left. So, as I said, that's where we're going first. They got helicopter tours for $45 to take you downtown. For those who uh, are coaster enthusiasts or fair enthusiasts, amusements are provided by Tally Amusements. Here is the fun spot, a little three lane, four dip slide. This is the smallest of three. So we'll show you the others in a moment. Here's the twister. It spins on two different axes, just like a scrambler. Not quite as good, but still fun. <laughs> Here's the alien abduction, commonly known as a Gravitron, it's kind of my nemesis, although this ride cycle is kind of short, so right when you feel like your uh, stomach is about to like be crushed, it ends. So at least there's that. This is a giant wheel, 108 feet tall, built in the Netherlands. Very nice. Now we continue down the midway. We'll go all the way around, do a loop, and then we'll go over the kids' area, as we said. What's nice about here is all the purchases are self-service. So you get a wristband, which is uh, $30, and then you can get tickets, which is about a uh, dollar a credit. And you can see this one right here is like five credits. So, and it, the haunted house is a dark ride. Definitely not worth five credits. Uh, do it on the wristband or... Uh, We've got some nachos and jumbo corn dogs. Look at that. Yeah, the Ring of Fire Larson loop. So it just goes around and around, and uh, depending on how good the operator is, you get some tremendous hang time. I'll show you a little bit more of that. types of games. Pop the balloon. One of the hardest ones here is the ring bottle thing. Here's my favorite attraction on the Midway easily. Spinatron. Built by KMG in the Netherlands. It's a Move It 24. Love it. So good. Unfortunately a very short cycle but uh, you get that wristband. Just keep doing it over and over again. Look at that. It's smoking. Oh yeah. Mega 
drop. Be about 100 feet or so tall. Drop tower. Trying to run around on you, man. You might not even know what's Come over here, I'm gonna let you play in the water. Take something home. Whoa! And then you got the Alibaba. Commonly known as a rock star, it just goes up and gives you a little bit of a weightlessness fail and a good view. Everybody's riding the right, Next is the Pit Kahuna, which is a Alpine Bob's type ride. Go up and down and swing out really close to the ground. A lot of fun. Adult-sized roller coaster at the State Fair this year is the Iron Dragon. Kind of a standard layout for uh, fair coasters. Just a couple of drops, then a bunch of helixes, and then a few small dips. the first of many fun houses, the jukebox music fun house. Looks like a lot of fun. I'll show you a few little scenes from it. Woo. I like it. You gotta navigate through these chains. Let's get unchained. Fun mirrors. More chains. And then we end with a little slide, apparently. Here's one of the best rides on the fairgrounds, right next to the Spin A Tron. It's a zipper. It spins you. It actually doesn't spin you, it just flips you all over the place. Across from it, you have the classic little wave swinger type attraction, which uh, lifts you up, swings you around, and uh, you eventually you tilt. And right next to it is the uh, roundup type of attraction, uh, where you uh, are just standing up, lifts up to about 45 plus degrees, and you're stuck to the edge as you're looking straight down at the midway. Zero gravity. Gravity is erased while you're on this ride. Then you have the kite flyer, which uh, spins around and tilts up slightly, and uh, you're laying down the entire time. Then we have the first of two bumper cars. This one's called the Scooters. And then the Wacky Shack, which is a very, very common. Uh, Setup of a fun house. You got a rotating barrel, a little rope bridge, a slide, some punching bags. That's a little bit better than normal. And you have the haunted house, which is kind of very similar to the first one we saw on the other side of the midway. Uh, so it has different scenes, more or less the same thing now. Then we have the orbiter, which is kind of like a scrambler, except uh, it tilts you out. So we'll get a look at that. Then we have the Alpine Bobs, which, you know, we had the Big Kahuna before. This is basically the same thing, just a different theme. So we have uh, some copies of some rides. What it amounts to is most of the rides here are going to find 
different ways to uh, spin you around in a circle. And uh, this one does it on its side, 90 degrees. A lot of fun. Here's our second of three large-scale Ferris wheels over here on the far end of the midway. Those are red handles at all times. While most of the kiddie rides are off by the time, you have a few over here, like the Gary bus, which is kind of a little train ride, but instead you ride in little VW buses. Very cute. What well, couldn't be any more cute is what's commonly known as a wacky worm. This time, it's known as the wacky dog. And look how cute that front is with that dog in the front. Oh, it's so cute. So, pretty standard layout, figure eight with a little drop and a little, little dips along the way. To the groovy bus is the uh, dragons which is a dumbo type ride where it goes around and around in a circle and you lift it up looks like it has like a little uh shirt theme on the middle there with the castle interesting uh you don't control if you go up or down as you don't with the skyliner either which is a giant swing ride that goes up about 50 or so feet very intense actually i might add enjoyed this a lot But if you do want to control your ride, over there is a Dumbo ride that, that's literally called Dumbo, where you can control whether you go up and down. And one last thing before we head back, as I've gotten distracted by this Mac and Tots uh, stand, that looks amazing. Seriously, currently I'm on a diet, so I can't have like anything here doing the keto diet, unfortunately. But here's the fast track, which is this giant one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dip, eight lane mat racer. Looks a lot of fun, love the uh, racing thing. Got some Indy cars there, some big trucks, NASCARs, with all the branding removed. But uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. And it has a really good view of the entire fair. Please do not attempt to interfere with other sliders as no head of Exit to the left. Exit now. What's great about a state fair is that there's literally something for everyone. Like, you got a billion games, lots of games. And you have lots of good food. And then you have exhibits for everybody. But then back to the rides. Here's Storm, which spins on two axes as you face your friends. And uh, it is very intense. Uh, one of the, probably the most spinny rides here. It doesn't look like it, but trust me, it spins a lot. So I misspoke. You actually spin on three different axes and you tilt it. So that's insane. Uh, uh. It's a third of four roller coasters, Dragon's Nest, which actually technically launches you backwards and then launches you through the course. There's no lift hill technically, so it's like a launch kid coaster. It's actually kind of fun for what it is. And 
here is a classic amusement ride that goes back forever. It is the spider. rides that are kind of in the middle of the entire loop. We have the Helix, the 360, which you would argue should not be called Helix because the Helix kind of has to be descending and this thing just does loops. It takes you upside down. Kind of the same thing as the Ring of Fire earlier, but uh, instead of being on a track here on these poles instead. And then right next to the Helix 360 is Classic Tilt-A-Roll. Gravity decides your fate on this one as you begin to spin around. And over here is another one of the more intense rides in the, in the carnival. It's downdraft. Your feet are suspended. Not very comfortable, not a lot of padding, but my goodness is it ever intense with this particular force. Then you're just gonna be pushed to the side. You will get to know that steel bar very, very well if you don't hold on very tightly. You bounce a little bit at first, a lot of fun. Makes that kind of scary sound, but don't worry, it's okay. As you go down, the typical force spins even faster. And once it's done with its bouncing, it just spins very, very fast. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. Here is Zumir. Zumar? Zumer? Zumer! Which is a little, uh swing ride, not open today, so I can't show it in motion. And there's our second bumper cars, rock and roll. We'll take a closer look at this one, as we didn't look at the first one, but it is. They're bumper cars. You can bump your butt off. We're just getting to a big traffic jam in one corner of the, uh, the uh, arena. This fun photo walk at the bull riding thing. He's been restricted. Why don't you arrest? One cool thing that they're doing is that when you get here, you can get your wristband. So if your kid gets lost and the official finds them, you can be easily reunited with them. So we're gonna head down and just follow the uh, sky ride all the way down to the kids section and show you some of the food just on our way down, just really quickly. This definitely looks good. Crack and cheese, award winning, stuffed turkey legs, hickory smoked legs. Oh, soul punch, soul rolls. Looks really good. They do have some entertainment. Right now we have a magician hypnotist going on. Ron Diamond, he's there. I believe all those schedules are online if you want to check them out. Here's an example of some of the entertainment they have. From Thailand. Oh, dear God. And here's the sky glider. They don't take credit. Apparently, New Jersey wants me to visit them. I'm from <laughs> Eastern PA, so I, I don't need to do that. Oh, look, Nickelodeon Universe. We have plenty of plenty of uh, videos from there. Got some free sunglasses. She tried to give me a god, and I was like, I'm basically from New Jersey. And she laughed. Anyways, look what we got. Bailey's Pizza and Stubs, a steakery, and corn dogs, old time photos. So we're gonna go through these real quick because we have a lot to show. And this is just to give you an idea of things you can do and you might wanna, you know, see and you know, so much to see and just watch it in a video of having to walk around it can be really beneficial. So, and then of course, we'll look at some of the, the animals and stuff like that. Uh, whatever really floats my boat after we do the uh, kitty land, so. Lots of fried stuff, inky dinky donuts. 
Oh, Benin. Fry Masters. I mean, right? They're masters. They have to be good. Bulk candy. Deep fried stuff. Ooh, deep fried Buckeyes. Buckeyes are so good. Oh my goodness. Or Pop-Tarts. Wow. Hot dumplings or peach dumplings. Very nice. Biscuit Barn. Get biscuits with chicken. Brisket. Awesome. And then uh, corn. Did see places where you can get some Mexican street corn, which is really good. We were just in Mexico and Guatemala and had street corn from both countries. It was amazing. There we go. Iced teas, oh, gyros. Looks really good. Oh, and this is not a dry fare. You can get alcohol, which is very nice to see. Uh, I'll give you an idea of the prices of so what you're gonna look at. Uh, eight or nine dollars for a 16 ounce. So that's not too bad. We have ice creams. Oh, look at all the different flavor bursts you can get, which is kind of just like vanilla ice cream, but they add the little bit of flavor on the edges. It's not too overbearing. We'll take a look at the marketplace uh, and show you some stuff. Der Dutchman, Amish kitchen cooking. I like that it's just like a shed on wheels. I think it a permit to pull something that wide. Dang. Chamboni, Italian sausages. Look, the donut burger. Ah, donut burgers are so good. Yeah, uh, I, I can tell you, you wish you had smell vision because it smells amazing from every corner while you're here. This is how much goes on. This is just for Friday, today. That's how much stuff is going on at the fair. Only 10 bucks to get in. If you don't even do a ride or get any food, there's still so much to see and do. You literally could just spend $10 and be perfectly happy. I spent 40 getting a wristband. That's all I'm gonna do. Uh, I don't need to buy anything. I can't eat anything because of my diet currently. Uh, ooh, baked potato. Yeah, trust me guys, it's killing me. Because, oh, look at that donut burger. Oh, donut burger. And it's only $12, that's not too bad. Baked potatoes. Look at that, roast corn, turkey legs, chili, Philly cheese steaks. I'll be the judge if that would just good if I had it. Ooh. Oh, I love when they had a grill out like that. Oh my goodness, just show me all the meats. Mm-hmm. Now, that smelled good. I just said we have entertainment all over the place. With the uh, gazebo stage coming up here. And we're gonna come back to the Taste of Ohio over there. Oh, look at this barbecue joint. Oh, more barbecue that we can look at. That's, that's so much fun. Look at all that barbecue. It's all there. It looks amazing. Turkey legs, chickens. Oh, there are your prices for this amazing place. And literally there's a pig roast. Pig on a stick. It's kind of sad. But they're so tasty. They do a breakfast. Look at this. And really affordable. Look at that. Four or five dollars? Nice. Look at that. Sheep facts. I love sheep facts. The taste of Ohio. If you want a place to sit down, in the air conditioning with food surrounding you. Get a beer, wine, all Ohio wines that you can taste. Very nice. Then they have more food juice over there. Let's take a look at what's over there. Look at this ice cream. Only $4 for a single dip. Roast lamb sandwiches, beef, hot dogs. And this isn't coming out of a box. This is uh, prepared with a lot of love. It, it smells it too. All right, let's go out to the Kitty Midway and show you uh, all the rides there. Jeez, you cannot escape the barbecue. We definitely found the barbecue section. Look at this. Starting off, we do have the smallest of the three Ferris wheels. That's like full size. Right at the beginning of the Midway. And in relation to where the main midway is, is where that uh, fast track slide is. 
So we're trying to do a counterclockwise loop really quickly. A lot of rides are here to spin the kids around, and uh, we're not gonna wait for all of them to go, because you get the idea. But uh, first off, you have this little uh, fun house thing. Lots of climbing, lots of nets, some slides, two different slides. It's fun. First off, you have a classic little carousel. If you don't want to go on the horses, they do have a little bench that you can go on. Of course, this is one of the first rides you'll take your little one on. It's always fun to see that. Yeah, the smaller version of a Dumbo ride here, called the Jumping Jumbo. And then we have a bunch of circular rides, as I said. We have the dune buggies. I'll see you sit in a little dune buggy, and it looks like there's a little ramp when you go around. Then you have one where you're in a little spaceships called Space Age. And games are all over the place as well. You have little boats, actual water. Very cute little wooden boats, I think. No, they're fiber bats. You have the monster trucks. Those look fun. Look at them doing their little jump. You have the monkey maze, which has a little mirror maze. Then you go up, got some wacky mirrors, and you go down the spiral slide. You got this little merry-go-round of all types of vehicles. If you didn't know, a merry-go-round is actually a carousel, but with different types of vehicles that are more than just animals. And you have this tiny little fun house. Very, very basic. Not too overwhelming. Lots of chains and things to go up and down on. And then these little gators here that go around and around. It's like they're saying hello, they're waving to us. You have the wind jammer, which you sit in like basically a uh, chairlift. Doesn't seem to lift up, just goes around in a circle. Then the giant slide. This isn't part of the, uh, this isn't owned by the Tally Amusements, so this actually does cost extra. The wristbands aren't included on this one. And it is three dollars and cash only. Whoa, that kid got air. There's a bear fair, which is uh, basically a teacup ride, but you ride in a bear. He's got a bee on his back. That's fun. And then you have this little uh, little wacky worm train thing going around. Very colorful. Simple old shape. There it is. And kind of all by itself. It's kind of kind of lonely. It's this little pirate ship. And then here's the Quadzilla, which actually looks kind of cool. I shamelessly kind of wanted to just, it was a curiosity for me. It's a little car ride, you go up this bridge. There it is. And then you kind of drop down. It's almost like a roller coaster. But I wouldn't really call it a roller coaster, but yeah, it looks kind of fun actually. There it is. But it is a roller coaster, it's right behind it, and we'll get to that in a moment. Over here, you have the kitty swings, which is a very small little swing ride. It has monkeys on the, the middle of it and an elephant. And these little 4x4 four four vehicles going around in a circle. Look at that. You have the Orient Express kid coaster. You go around a bunch of times. Coaster enthusiasts you can ride without a kid, no problem. There's a Helix. It's actually kind of intense. Pull some nice lateral G's. Then you actually have some teacups. They're bite sized, but 
You can spin them quite a bit and anybody can ride them. Another little Dumbo type of attraction, it's uh, the little helicopters. You can control it yourself by pulling that lap bar back and forth. And you have the dancing bunnies. Little, little tiny little Ferris wheel. Knobber's gonna hang out there. I love that. There's a train station with these tiny little cute cars. It looks like you go through the, the station over there. Watch out for that dynamite. It'll get you. Then you have the Choo Choo Express, which is a little tiny little kid coaster. Goes around in an oval. Adults cannot ride this one. You have to be between 36 and 60 inches to ride it. Then you have another kind of car ride right here. Little antique cars. And then you have Ships Ahoy, which is identical to Bear Affair, actually. However, you're in kind of ships, or you can spin them. There's the Black Pearl, there's the Ship of Fools, there's Blackbeard's Boat, and there's, I don't know. And then finally, as far as the rides go, you have the Squadron. Another uh, Dumbo type of attraction where you spin around and control whether you go up or down. So that's it for all the rides. I said we're gonna head around the rest of the fair and uh, that's not gonna be as in depth. I'm just gonna show you the things that I really enjoy and uh, things that I feel like you should see. You can ride Campbell's for $10. That's fun. Glad to see it's not elephants. Elephants that become be red is actually really terrible because uh, elephants are not a domesticated type of animal and uh, you really have to break the soul of an animal to actually get them, uh, elephant to actually get them to uh, be trained enough to actually be ridden. Where camels are, they're like horses. Here's a show me safari petting zoo. Let's go inside, see if there's anything interesting or abnormal. They do have pig races. Those are always fun at the state fair. There are the times for you. They do have food for the animals, two dollars for a small, and families are five. What do we got in here? I'll say it smells remarkably good in here for a petting zoo. Here's a goat. Oh, look at the little babies. Mom <laughs> is definitely enjoying the thing. bunch of cattle, including this very furry one. He's a mini uh, white mark of cattle. It's <laughs> pretty. Oh, a turtle. So I don't think I've ever seen that petting zoo before. It's kind of cool. Yeah, neat stuff here. Bunch of cats. Moo moo. This looks like it could be called the machine exhibit. I already see retro gaming. So that's fun. Let's check it out. Just a bunch of stuff to buy all over the place. Like these welcome signs. The mountains are calling. Go to the mountains. The mountains are the best place to go. It's a southern entrance. I like the design there. You can interpret it as Ohio from the front or the back with the uh, posts there. I think that's what they were going for. We're going to look at some livestock again and the nature center area. Uh, but we're gonna go to the fine arts exhibit first. See if there's anything interesting in there. I love interpreted art like this. You know, flat paintings on a wall. It's just not my thing. I can appreciate it for the most part, except for, oh, that one's cool in the background. Oh, okay, I thought it was just three white panels and that was art. That's neat. Very cool. It's like a light box, basically. A bunch of LEDs inside and everything. What we here, have here is a bunch of bags recycled. 
All right, well, so really quickly I couldn't film in there. So you got a little peek of it before I uh, was told not to. And just as a small sample of all the agriculture exhibits they have, these go on forever. You have sheep that are being trimmed. Look at this. It just goes on forever. And they actually, uh, you know, are being judged here, which is a lot of fun. I've seen this at other state fairs. It's super fun if you're into that type of thing. Or it's just a nice odyssey, such a nice uh, curiosity, such for the kids uh, to learn a little bit about where their food comes from and all that stuff. So in the Land and Living exhibition, you can actually do virtual reality horse racing. And then there's a plastic cow. And an immersive theater. Here's the main marketplace, and oh my goodness, it goes forever. And it's got everything from stuffed animals. You can get a Sonic the Hedgehog. Look at that. Dinosaurs. You can play a lottery. Imagine if you won the lottery at the Ohio State Fair. They have the Sour Fair. Wow. Casa de Mexico. Wow, there is so much stuff. And then you have a little food market here. Which smells really good and it's really nicely air conditioned here. So uh, that, that's going to be it from the Ohio State Fair. I really enjoyed myself. I was here for like seven hours. I could use one of those mattresses right now. Oh my goodness. I mean, yeah. If I came here at the beginning of the fair, I'd probably lay down one of those, but maybe not so much now. <laughs> Anyways, so that's going to be it. Thanks for watching The Coaster Spot. This has been Alex, and as I said, nesting dolls. We're going to a lot of other state fairs, so if you want to check those out, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for instant notifications when videos come out. Like and comment down below. Thanks. See you next time.